The FEI Eventing Nations Cup is the world's premier team eventing series that's contested over seven legs across Europe. With two events completed at Houghton Hall in Great Britain and Pratoni del Vivaro in Italy, it was Sweden who were out in front overall, heading into the third leg in Strega in Poland. Former world champions Germany were trailing in the standings after missing the second event and valuable points in Italy. Returning for the competition in Poland, they brought forward a first-class team, including anchorman Michael Young. We use the Nations Cup especially to get more um, pressure for the riders sometimes to be in the team. So this is a, a good test and a good experience for everybody. And Nations Cup makes everything a bit more, more nice, more famous. Especially here in Stregom, it's a nice competition. I know the competition well, I'm very often here also on the Europeans, and um, yeah, it's a nice place, and uh, I think uh, we're all looking forward for the cross country. Before the cross country, there was the dressage phase to complete, and it was crucial for Michael and the team to get off to a flying start. Competition was tough from the Netherlands, after a foot-perfect test from Dutch rider Tim Lips saw him shoot to the top of the individual leaderboard helping his team to second overall, ahead of the Swedes in third. Jung was unable to beat Lips's score, but a valiant 23.2 penalties on only his fourth outing with Fisher Chipmunk FRH put them just behind in second. With other solid scores from Team Germany, they were out in front heading into the cross-country phase, and Jung was confident in taking on Marcin Konarski's challenging track. The ground is very good normally always and the course is quite tough, so it's flat everything, but uh, you have to be normally very concentrated on the jumps, so you can have everywhere a few mistakes if you are not 100% concentrated and you have to look that your horse is always um, yeah, with you and listening and um, you have to be fast, I think, to be in the time. So the water is always a bit spectacular. Um, it depends how quick is the first water. That makes sometimes a bit difference. But if it's a bit later in the course, and I think in here in Stregom it's always a bit in the end, then it's normally uh, not really a problem. The horses are in a good rhythm and jump many different kind of fences. We have everywhere hills where we have to gallop over, and this is always a tough question for the horses to keep the balance and uh, to be very focused on the jumps. Normally I try to take the direct route also to get information from the horse if it works or not. You have always an option and you can think your horse is maybe not really good on the right, then you can take the alternative maybe on the left. So you have to think when you walk the course, how can be the reaction of your horse on this fence? Is it better maybe to take three, four, five more seconds but jump a better fence? It depends. Um, yeah, how good is the partnership and how is the experience of the horse? The partnership proved to be near perfect as he and Fisher Chipmunk cruised around the course, adding just 2.2 time penalties to his overall score, leapfrogging Dutchman Tim Lips to move to the top. The Germans cemented their overall lead as Great Britain moved into second, pushing the Dutch into third ahead of the show jumping. I'm very happy about, about the course today. It was a great feeling. We go step by step, so we are happy at the moment, but we still have a tough day tomorrow, so uh, fingers crossed for tomorrow. The pressure had been lifted as faults from both the Dutch and British teams meant that his German compatriots had already secured the Nations Cup win with their three solid scores counting. Jung still managed to pull a clear round out of the bag, which gave him individual glory ahead of Great Britain's Ben Hobday. The perfect outing for Michael and the German team in Stregholm. We wrote our second nation cup on second win. And uh, yeah, it's good, and especially the win of Michael is important for us because a new horse for him. So from show to show, they get more confidence together. And I think it was a brilliant round, which he did over the weekend here. 
Germany have now taken two wins from two outings, but after missing out on important points in Italy, they were in joint third overall, with Sweden and Italy out in front as the series moved to Capoquin in Ireland.